just doing some seasonal maintenance here on this Fisher XLS. Uh, it's pretty similar to the Western Wideout. Um, the only difference is between this XLS and the Wideout is, for the most part, there's a few others, but is this the XLS is just the trip edge. The shield doesn't trip back like the X uh, Wideouts. The Western Wideout is a full shield trip plow. Um, and a lot of them, the other thing is that the XLS here, the Fisher has polyurethane, as you can see, which I've torn, flipped around. Uh, poly wings to extend out so, uh, so you don't damage it if you hit something. Um, they also have those nice curb guards. So that's the new, that's what it looks like new versus the other. And uh, the wideouts have a steel edge there and I guess they have quite a bit of problem. It does last longer, but they have problems with it, you know, folding the wings up, which is really expensive. So here you can see how much I've worn that poly down. This dog is two winters. Those were four bolt holes uh, like that for the curb guard. Worn them right off. But the main problem is these oval holes, I think. Uh, you can see these other lines. It was sliding out of place. And also the tearing starting to happen. I believe Fisher was warrantying some of this stuff. This replacement kit, this is what they look like now. And they've not doing the oval holes. So it has way less of a chance of dragging down out of place. When I mean drag down, it would diagonally pull the corner of the rubber down away from the plow to try to pull it. Well, I'm gonna show you right here. No matter how much I tighten that, it did not matter. Tighten it every day, tighten it as hard, hard as you could. And it still would pull down like that. So, this kit was 400 bucks just for that poly replacement, the curb guards, and six pieces of flat steel hold, which is interesting because that isn't even on the kit stock. You've got this L piece. Um, so I'm not sure. They're trying to do it differently. They should have put some claws in the back of the uh, steel to grab the rubber or something. Um, and I kind of over tightened that one one piece on it so I've got two pieces of that flat stock and I eliminated the L piece but there's also a trick to this getting these wings out because what you have here they'll they won't get far enough out they won't come far enough out for you to get this inside bolt the nut on the back of this the wing won't come far enough out there's one two and threes in there so what you have to do is use a stopper right there. One inch nut on the back, but it's a hex bolt. So you need a big hex bit. You take that out and then you can hyper extend the wing. It will come straight out and it won't cup. It'll come hyper extended straight out and it will stop. Um, and it will expose that final nut that's hiding behind there. Um, I've got kind of a janky block there, but at least I have something. I should have something better, but put something underneath it if you're going to work on it. Over now.